There are multiple ways of how you can raise funds for your early stage venture. The most obvious one is of course using your own savings, um, especially if you are still in the early days of figuring out what kind of product, how it works, building the first version of it. Using your savings maybe is a good idea. It's the safest idea. You don't have any liabilities or you are not accountable to anyone but yourself. Another way of also um, getting some fundings for your early stage venture is to use your credit card lines of credit. It's, a, of course, uh, a bit more risky, but you should do that only if you really are very bullish and uh, ambitious about your idea. You want to do it, you want to try it, and you want to take that entrepreneurial risk. One way also very famous of getting a loan from friends and family. Of course, <laughs> you don't want to have any problems with your friends and family. So be careful here when you get some loans from friends and family um, that you are dedicated to building that product and it's not just a side hustle. If you have already some suppliers you are working with to build your product, maybe one thing you could do to finance the first version of your product is to ask maybe the supplier to give you um, a short-term trade line of credit which means um, they deliver whatever you need from the supplier now and you pay them in 30 or 60 days. Sometimes, very rare, but it's possible, you can maybe negotiate it to 90 days. So this gives you maybe uh, a 30 to maybe 30 or 90 days uh, time frame to sell your product before you pay your supplier. This is also a different kind or another way of financing uh, your product. It can work. It actually happens a lot today in the business world that uh, many of the companies get a, a trade short-term uh, trade line of credit from the suppliers um, to in order to get the supply, try to sell what they receive, and then uh, with the cash they have, they pay then the supplier later. So this is also another way of financing. It's a creative but possible as well. A more sophisticated way of uh, financing your startup would be to go to a bank and get a loan. At that stage, you need to be very certain that what you're building, you're standing behind it 100%, and you've calculated at least um, the cost that you will have for the next at least 6 to 12 months. So you're covering this period uh, with a loan. One way of financing that's mostly, I would say, used for consumer product-oriented uh, companies uh, is the crowdfunding. Crowdfunding is a very attractive and also interesting uh, it's a way of financing a company or a product. Um, if you have a very consumer-appealing uh, product, something new, something unique, specialized, um, that makes sense, looking into that option, you have just to know that you're giving a crowd of people who give you the money, um, certain shares or rewards um, for the money they give you. Another way of next level of the, I would say of financing is, uh, I would say mostly applied to technology or high growth products uh, is the going to business angels. Business angels usually give money to people or companies who have a solid, I would say, product idea, um, high growth, I would say, market, and also a strong team. And that means the business that believes in you as a founder, believes in the product, and believes in the market. It has to be something that can grow and become very big later. Otherwise, the business it would never make money. So that would be another way of financing, I would say, uh, an early stage venture. Um, you could also go to an accelerator program. There are such things like Y Combinator and the like. Um, these uh, is specialized uh, accelerators select their, I would say, their batches and also startups very carefully. That means you have to be among the very attractive companies with a very great perspective of, for growth. Um, usually they are in a technology field. doesn't have to, but if you are... If you are working on something that has potential to grow and um, reach uh, hundreds of millions of revenues, then maybe this is an option for you to go and look for financing uh, through Accelerated. The nice thing about Accelerated is 
is that they um, give you exposure to other investors and they help you also uh, develop your first version of, of product and also help you shape the story and uh, customer profile. And the last but not least, the most sophisticated way of getting financing is mostly for a bit later stages uh, uh, in your development process, maybe not like in the when you just start working on your product, but later um, is getting venture capital. Venture capital is mostly interesting when you need at least 250K, half a million or a million uh, in funding, um, I would say per ticket, not uh, uh, in total uh, funding round. Per, per investor, you need at least half a million, quarter million or a million dollars. So I think these are the ideas uh, that you can take and see which one fits you best. If you are working on more like small kind of product, you're still in the early days of development. Um, I would say consider the first few options of financing in the beginning. Later, the more you develop, the more you grow and you have more confidence in your solution. Try to figure out if bank loan is more feasible than actually um, more like venture capital or business angel or maybe crowdfunding. I hope this was somehow helpful, helps you to think through the options. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, send me a comment. Happy to hear from you guys.